Hi friends, this is Peter Swart from Grace Covenant Ministries and today I want to share with you daily devotion number 7 and uh, my question that I have is is it really necessary to say to someone you got a hardened heart? Uh, and this all started with a friend who told me uh, yesterday um, every time I went to church and they say I have a hardened heart or I hear it from the pulpit I was so condemned and uh, it made me think, it made me bring me to the pr uh, point that, uh, uh, and to begin to meditate and think about that because um, does it really help to tell people that their hearts is hardened? Uh, if we read in the New Covenant uh, where the writer of Hebrews say today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart or basically the, the, words, the real words is to resist God. But we have to look at something deeper here and um, what bothers me about this is that if I look at Israel and then I question it many times, uh, how is it possible that these people can be delivered by God from Egypt under, from their uh, task masters, masters as slaves coming into the, the wilderness on their way to the promised land after God have done all these miraculous things that they still from time to time would complain and say God brought us out of Egypt uh, to punish us, God uh, brought us here to kill us. Then you begin to ask yourself the question, what was wrong um, with that picture? What is wrong that they would react like that? And the error that they had in their hearts and it is written in Deuteronomy 1.27 and I want to read it to you. Paul, uh, 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 Moses is addressing the nation and this is what he say in verse 27. And you complained in your tents and said, because the Lord hates us, he brought us out of the land of Egypt. So he said, um, the, the error in their hearts was the, the Lord hates us. Um, where did they where did they find that how is it possible that God with all these miraculous things that he do showing them his goodness his grace his love that they would still say the Lord hates us and I, it made me think that I discovered um, for 400 years they were on the task masters who serve angry gods and it, they were dominated with that personalities and they were dominated uh, by their taskmasters for 400 years. And they have created a belief system inside of them unknowingly, even though they serve the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, as they call it under the old covenant. Uh, although God was good to, uh, to Abraham and they see all these wonderful things that God did. Because they were under taskmasters who serve angry gods or believe that, that they are under angry gods, put it that way, who had everyday influence on them. If they have created in them a belief system that God is angry and that God hates them. We come into the new covenant and I discover me myself as a pastor for many years. I was angry. I was frustrated. Because I had a wrong picture of who God the Father really is. And I projected to my people, it doesn't matter uh, how nice I am. It doesn't matter of all the good things that I do. It doesn't matter how good I preach, how wonderful I can manage the church and run the church and uh, uh, work with leaders. The reality is if my heart is established in the fact that I think God just tolerate me, God is not happy with me. God is angry with me. I cannot please him uh, 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 enough. That's what I project to the people. And it does not bring change to their hearts. Therefore, it is so important that we have to understand under the new covenant. It, it's not necessary to tell people that their hearts are hardened. You know what is necessary? What is necessary is to establish people's hearts with the grace of God. What is necessary is to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. That is what is necessary. What is necessary is that me and you uh, understand that most of the people coming into our church come from a religious background that had a wrong concept of who God the Father was. <clears throat> and many people out there, it's not even coming to our church. People that are sitting every night in a pub or on a dancing floor or it's out in the world or go to church. 
that have a wrong concept of who God really is. Their hearts is hardened because of a belief system. And their lives, we look at destructive behavior that is in people and we call it sin. It's not sin. Sin is, to, is unbelief. A, 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 a destructive behavior is a result of unbelief, is a result of wrong beliefs of who you really are, who God really is, how you see yourself in God, and the beliefs that you have of the view and opinion that God has of you. So if we can begin to change and preach to people our message and telling people, listen, and explaining and show out of scripture how good God is and change the picture of who God really is and begin to show people that God is a God of love and mercy and grace and loving kindness, then people will begin to get the view and opinion that God have of them and they will understand that God is pleased with them. And guess what? The heart will be established by grace, because the more that they begin to find and understand and discover the true picture of who God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit is, guess what? Their hearts will change and their faith will change. And guess what? Behavior will change. So God bless you. Have a great day. And we talk to you tomorrow again.